Okay, Doug, to change the burrs when they uh, have too much wear, all you do is you go to settings, you go to instruments, you select the right milling unit, you're only going to have this one. The instruments are then going to line up. The gear heads line up to where the buttons used to be pushed. I'll open this up and show you. There's buttons on the back side here and here. And they're still active. It's just over time they wear. And these little knobs there, right there, push that button in, but they no longer do that. So what you have to do is come here, Jan, I'll let you hold this. Rock put pull it forward just a little bit past that. You take a flathead screwdriver and you firmly but mildly put it on the back side of that button. Oh, record down here too, Jana. The little burr changing tool is right here in the bottom. And there's your screwdriver to change the burr block. But this is what you use to change the burr with. So you put your screwdriver on the back side of that, almost right in the dead middle. I torque it just a little bit to one side so it'll engage. Slide that over, you'll feel it grab. You twist it, and you'll feel it break loose. And from that stage, you just unscrew it. and you screw it all the way out. The button has to remain engaged. If not, the motor will spin. So to put it back in, you would do exactly the opposite. You push the button in, put, get the burr in there, get your burr, to, burr tool on there, spin it, you're going to feel it getting tighter, and then at the end, you'll feel it want to stop and have a little bit of a click and there it was and that's how you change the burr. I always just kind of spin it to make sure it's free but they, they're free.